Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about how to use both Google Earth and Google My Maps to help students with geometry concepts. So this here is Google Earth showing Camp Alvernia, a camp I worked at when I was in college. People wonder why I love Dawson's Creek. Look where I worked when I was in college. Anyway, what I want to show you is that in Google Earth, you can measure distance. So let's do that real quick. And I'll start here, maybe at this jetty, and we'll go to the entrance. And that's 354, 49 meters there. And I click that and it also converts it into feet. But then I can actually continue the shape and maybe get like the whole area of this camp. Maybe I'll make a triangle here. And notice right when I get there, it says close shape, which is really nice. I click that and it gives me the perimeter and it gives me the area in both meters and feet or meters squared and feet squared, depending on perimeter or area. How cool is that? On an iPad, it, you'll actually see a little copy button there so that you can copy that to have that data really accessible. And there, then you have a start new. If I click start new and I do that again, again, I can measure and I can create and I can create multiple sided shapes, whatnot. And again, it will do the same. To save those shapes, you want to use Google My Maps. So if I go over here to Google My Maps, there is a ruler, and the ruler is really good for measuring distance, whatnot. Um, but the best thing is this little draw a line right here. So if I draw a line, it actually lets me draw a line or a shape. So let me draw start a line there. I do that. But then if I make another and I close that up right there, and I name it, well, I can just call it Polygon 2. I can rename it as well. I save that. It lives on the map. I can rename it. I can change its color. I can add imagery and all this stuff. And it gives me, this is so small that it actually does the area in acres and the perimeter is actually exactly half a mile. Look at me, how about that? But these um, can be sa these saved to the map and then they can actually be moved. So you can um, project it over different areas. That's the famous Greenland versus Africa, how on the maps it looks uh, like Greenland is about the same size as Africa, but then using Google My Maps, if you just draw a shape around Greenland and then put it over Africa, you learn a little something about um, how maps often are distorted. Anyway, that is perimeter area geometry measurement using Google Earth and Google My Maps. If you have any questions about that, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.